My name is Chastity Turley. She's an iron horse gonna lead the way. I'm 23 years old. I come from a village called Gitniao. I was uh, born and raised there. I live in South Hazleton. I'm a single mother of two. My daughter, she's four, and my son is two. I belong to the Giscas clan. In English, that's the fireweed grouse clan. The house group that I belong to is Guxen. When I go to the feast, I'd walk in and there'd be someone there seating people to each table, whichever house they belong to. And normally when I get there, I tell them I'm Guxen and they'd sit me down with the table with Guxen. My kid's name for my dad is Gach. In English, it means rabbit. My dad gave me that name because as a child, I was always running and hopping over things. I'm very fast. I love soccer. <laughs> Started off as when I was a little girl. My older sister, she used to go to practice with her team and I'd be playing on the park because the park is right beside the field. And every time they, they'd kick the ball over the fence and they'd go into the park, I'd go run and get it and kick it back. And then finally one day, the coach of my sister's team asked me, she's like, well, you're really fast and you got a good kick. And she asked me to play for their team, and that was the first time I've ever played. And that's how my mm. soccer career started. I would do anything to play soccer. <laughs> Another hobby that I really like is doing hair and makeup. It's funny because as a child, my mom, she would be like, I don't want you to wear makeup, it looks funny here. You look like a walking totem pole. But now it paid off because it's something I'm really good at. I'm not certified, but a lot of people think I am. <laughs> I got to grade 11, but I've learned from my mistakes. I've learned what it's like to be in the real life as an adult and how many challenges there is that comes my way and I have two children of my own. My mom always told me, you'll starve if you don't like your fish and with me. And that's basically what I was raised on. I understand it now as an adult myself. Growing up as a child, my mom when we'd have like hard times in our life where we'd run out of groceries and stuff, my mom, she would provide fish or loose meat that she got and she kept it stored away until we really needed it. But she always told me that if I didn't like fish or loose meat, I would starve. And I never really realized what that meant till I grew up and had children of my own, my own family that I had to feed. And there is a time in our lives that we have that struggle. And I went through it and realized that if I prepared fish and moose, that I would need it in my future. From what my mom and dad told me, uh, in July and August, the fish was ready to be prepared. My mom, she she does a lot of work in the smokehouse. 
and she has taught me how to gut fish, how to smoke it, how to prepare uh, fish strips, which in our language we call it hooks. She would have us all out there doing, like, washing the fish, and she'd have one of us hanging the fish. And then there's a certain <clears throat> type of uh, wood that you have to use to smoke the fish. It's a uh, smokehouse wood. My dad does that for my mom. He goes out and gets the smokehouse wood and he prepares the sticks that you hang the fish on. Normally, back in the day, my mom always told me that the men would have to go out and get a job and the women would stay home and look after the children or the men went hunting um, and brings back what he catches and has to serve it to the family, the entire family. But I don't see that anymore. So much change. I work and I bring home the money and I pay the bills. From what I've went through in my childhood, I've learned to make a change for my children. Breaking the cycle of alcohol drug abuse in my family. Change so that they don't go the same path I went.